come to a major offshore event in France and it's crystal clear why this country has been so successful in this area of the sport. Here, anyone can walk down the pontoon and take a close look at these extraordinary machines while also rubbing shoulders with the world's best. This is also autograph territory where skippers are signing anything from posters to caps and t-shirts. It's the pit lane of the offshore world and every time I come I am blown away by the buzz. This free access also gives everyone a chance to take a close look at the favourites. So, who are the ones to watch for? Charlie Darling sailing this boat, Apivia, is a hot favourite and widely accepted as being in another league. He's also currently leading the 2022 in Mocha Globe Series. Tom Royon on Linked Out is another of the favourites. As is Louis Burton on Bureau Valet, who has a reputation for keeping his foot flat to the floor for longer than anyone else. Plus, he finished third in the last Fondi Globe, which says a great deal about why he's taken so seriously. And while we've seen a fair bit of a Pivier and linked out performance, Bureau Valet is yet to reveal her true capabilities after she lost her mast in last year's TJV. And then there's Jeremy Bayo on Chiral. The three times winner of the Figaro Solo series had to return to base shortly after the start of the last Fondi Globe with gear failure. The boat got fixed and he set off once again, but he was out of the running. In the older boats, there's some serious talent too. And while they may not have the pace compared to the new boats, Isabel Josh on Massif and Nicolas Lundven on Bank Populaire are also ones to watch. But the fact that this race goes north rather than south takes all the skippers into unfamiliar territory. And the bottom line is, you won't find many people down here who are prepared to make firm bets on anything at the moment. And that makes for a fascinating race.